everyone good morning good afternoon good evening all depending on the time we're reaching you guys welcome back to our channel it's so good to have you guys back here again thank you once again for your continuous and massive support to this channel god bless you my people really appreciate you we pray that even as you support this channel god almighty will support you in whatsoever you lay your hands to do in jesus name amen thank you once again guys yes my people as always we're back again with latest and most authentic happenings in the country Efforts to return Benin Brosis to Africa remains ongoing challenge. We know recently uh, Germany um, made um, a statement that um, they have plans in place to return stolen artifacts from the Benin Kingdom long, long ago. You know, many years ago, um, these artifacts were looted from um, Edo State, from the Benin Kingdom, and um, they've decided that uh, plans are on ground to return them and the most interesting part about this was that um, these artifacts, they were not just only in Germany, they were not only um, taken to Germany, all over, <laughs> all over, all over the country. Some uh, are located in the United Kingdom, in other European countries, all over. But right now, there are certain challenges that is stopping um, the return of these um, artifacts back um, to Edo State, to Benin Kingdom. And these are things that um, are really treasured. Um, in the in the state, we'll bring you all of the details. What is um, delaying all of this? We know when uh, um, a meeting was uh, held between um, Governor Gordon Obaseki and one of the German representative, and they talked they talked about um, how these um, artifacts are going to come back. And at that time, it raised a lot of uh, um, joy. It was like a thing of joy that finally these artifacts that were stolen many many years ago. Over 125 years ago that um, they're actually coming back they were actually looted by british soldiers and um, after they were looted they were sent to other countries distributed they were sold they landed in different museums and these are uh, properties they actually belong um, to the benin kingdom but right now there are certain challenges um, um stopping them from coming back we'll bring you all of those details shortly guys but before we do please don't forget to like share and to subscribe also press the bell, press the notification bell till it turns grey. God bless you. Now we'll get into the news and grab all of the details. 90% of Africa's cultural heritage currently lies outside the continent, including the Benin Bronzes in the British Museum. The promise to return several Benin Bronzes from three Western institutions to the former kingdom of Benin in Nigeria was celebrated by many. But returning all the artifacts looted by British soldiers 125 years ago will continue to be a challenge. In recent weeks, a university in Scotland and museums in Germany and Britain pledged to repatriate the Benin bronzes they own. The restitution is hugely symbolic to Timothy Awoyemi, a British-born Nigerian who helped repatriate two Benin bronzes in 2014 from a private collector whose grandfather had been part of the 19th century looting. Awoyemi says he was elated when he heard about the latest returns. They stole it, so it makes me happy because the stolen artifacts are going to be returned back to where they rightly belong, he said. British soldiers looted the Kingdom of Benin in what is currently Edo State in Nigeria during a punitive military expedition in 1897. The high-valued plagues, marks, and sculptures function as an historical archives to the Benin Royal Palace. The sculptures made of brass, bronze, and ivory are now owned and displayed across Western museums and institutions. Oxford professor Dan Hicks is the curator of the Pitt River Museum which holds 145 Benin objects. He authored a book about the bronzes and says the display of stolen arts in Western museums continues to hurt people in the present. The dispossession of art and culture was a central sort of part of how military operations that sought to remove sovereignty and sought to destroy traditional religion and sought to remove identity and culture. That was a central part of what the Europeans were doing in the 1880s, 1890s across Africa, he said. He says the argument that Western Museum will be emptied out or shut down is unlikely as restitution needs a case-by-case -case approach. Thousands of bronzes from the former Benin Empire are held in 
private collections, and in over 160 museums around the world. Most have offered to discuss loaning the bronzes instead of repatriation. The British Museum in London holds about 900 Benin objects, the largest collection in the world. Its website reads, no formal written request was being received for the return of the entire Benin collection, despite the bronzes being filed under contested objects. Additionally, laws would need to be changed because British national collections are prohibited from giving away their collection. The African Foundation for Development, AFORD, is a British-based charity which for the past year has investigated the challenges and obstacles related to returning African artifacts. Executive Director Onyekachi Wambu says, Even if the national collections aren't willing or able to repatriate, there are many more places and people owning Benin bronzes. There are lots of different museums around the country which have their own collections. They are not covered by the law. There are others that are in private collections. And those are going to be much more difficult to do because, you know, those people sometimes don't want to do it, he said. It said over 90% of African cultural legacy is held outside the continent. Although many Western countries have laws ensuring that the return of Nazi looted art, this approach has not been extended when it comes to art stolen from Africa and other parts of the world. These guys, these are things they collected to return them. And the, the part that struck me was that they are stating that rather than repatri um, repatriating them, that they want to loan them. How can you loan something that was stolen? Something that was stolen. But the thing, the, the way we see all of this, our government, they're not even interested in this because if they're interested, you can imagine, uh, let's say things are stolen from other countries years, years ago. They will fight hard. They will find every possible means to get them back. But who do we blame? Up to now, um, Britain, the, the, with their body language and the way things are going, it doesn't look like they want to return those artifacts. You know, initially when the news broke out that um, Germany, they were making moves and uh, it was like um, the hopes were rising that, OK, finally, all of these artifacts all over, even in um, the United Kingdom, they're going to be coming back. They are seated and relaxing, resting in the British museums over there that they are going to come back. But it doesn't look like um, the challenges there right now is that um, these guys, they believe that uh, it's not theirs, it's in their possession. And rather than repatriating them, they are talking about um, loaning them. Such a shame. And um, it's not really good. You know, like I said, if our government, if our governors, if they stand in the right position to um, argue all of this, we believe that at the end of the day, these artifacts uh, will, will all come back from wherever they are. Anyway, guys, let's hear your take down below in the comment section. Thank you once again for staying tuned. Please don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe. Till I come your way again with more updates. Bye.